folks, and welcome. This is Alan Butler, Schneble Hill Media, and today we're looking at uh, this online web uh, photo editor called Pixlr that will enable you to compress images for the web in case you have received uh, really high quality images from your phone or from your photographer and they're just too big to, for what you want to do with them then you can use uh, Pixlr to make them smaller for your use. Now you can try the Pixlr X which I don't recommend because it doesn't have enough functionality I don't think for what you're looking to do. Um, if you go to open the Pixlr editor this is a better option and when you do that it's going to potentially, it, you might find a little thing that says, hey, your ad blocker is on, and it may also say that you're, you need to install Flash to make it work. But once you've done that, you should see this, and you can create a new image from scratch. Uh, you can open an image from your computer, or you can open an image from a URL. So what I recommend is that you go ahead and find the image that you want. Uh, let's go to... Uh, let's find an image here. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's just take this image here from a magazine cover that we shot a while back. And <clears throat> this, big, this is a picture that is very large. It's you know, full resolution. And we want to make this small because we want to uh, share it in email or something like that. So the best, let me just give you this little piece of advice first. If you, for example, go over to this little ad right here, and you right click and you say inspect this element you'll see that this is 200, 300 by 250 it's a little practically square image which is frankly really small and images on the web don't need to be big and what's interesting is you should definitely do this you find the space that you intend to put it in and inspect that element to see what is the size that you need and don't make it any bigger than it needs to be because that's, that will save your, your website and help it to run much more efficiently and you don't want to put bloated pictures on your website or in your email marketing campaigns that are just too big for what you're looking for. Now let's say that you are going to upload this image. This is an image of a product that's for sale on Shopify or Amazon or something like that and you want it to be uh, as much resolution as possible without actually overcoming or going over the the maximum allowable upload size. So for example if we wanted to send this was a product image and we wanted to send it up to Amazon they recommend that you have um, a minimum of 1000 pixels, uh, pixels on the long edge but they recommend that it's 2560 pixels on the long edge. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and make this an image like we're going to use it on a product sale. So you go to image, image size, and the height is the longest edge on this photo. So what we're going to do is we're going to go 2560, and the, the width is going to be 1707. So you say, OK. Now it just shrunk it down. Fear not, it didn't just turn it into a postage stamp. You just got to zoom back into it. That's no problem. So we have now made it the, to the, the recommended long edge pixel dimensions for Amazon for example. Now all you have to do is go to file save and what it's going to do is it's going to say okay at a JPEG quality which is good for most photos and I totally agree for web use you definitely want to go ahead and use JPEG um, it's going to automatically default to 80 percent quality and that's going to give you a a potential size of about a half a megabyte, 550 kilobytes. Now you can say I want full resolution at 100% quality. That's going to give you a 3.7 megabyte file. Now that's fine if you want to do that for uh, Amazon because they will uh, allow you to upload a picture that is up to 10 megabytes and I frankly think that that's the best practice because um, you should always go to the maximum resolution that something will allow you to upload it, especially if they're going to compress it themselves, which uh, like for, uh, YouTube, for ex uh, example, if you're uploading a video to YouTube, you want to you know, do some overkill perhaps when uploading your video because YouTube's going to compress it and Amazon's going to do the same thing. Upload the highest quality that you can and let them compress it 
then you've given them more than they need and hopefully it'll look its best. So if 3.7 megabytes is good for you, then go for it. All you've done is you have changed the longest edge to the recommended settings and you've probably cut the image size in half while still getting in under the maximum allowable from Amazon. Now if you just decide, well, 80% 80, 80 quality is going to give me a five, you know, 0.5 megabyte file, that's probably fine. I don't recommend that, but that's probably fine. If you actually were to do one of those inspect elements thing where you go to a, a product photo on Amazon and you right click it and inspect that element, it's going to be quite small. You'd be surprised at how small it is. But if you do this, and you get a good size image that has the best resolution possible and let them compress it, hopefully you'll end up with something that you're happy with. And all you have to do at this point is say OK, and you can save it wherever you'd like to save it, and you say OK, let's go ahead and save that, and then if you go out to your desktop, uh, then you take a look at this image. It is still really nice, uh, and if you zoom in, and let it resolve, that's still really good. You know, you're zooming into a pretty good zoom and you still have a really nice sharp image on this thing. Uh, it is a half a megabyte and it's 2560 by 1707. That is not bad at all. You're zoomed into about 150% here and you still got pretty good clarity. It's not bad at all, not bad at all. So there you go, folks. That should get you exactly what you wanna do to resize your pictures. Just go to image, select the image size and tell it how many pixels you want on the long edge and once you have done that go to file save tell it how much quality you want it's going to estimate the file size and go ahead and save it you can rename it put it where you want it and you should be good to go thanks a bunch i hope this was uh, useful to you thank you and have a great day bye bye